Many would argue that Arctic Freezer 3360 is one of the best CPU coolers on the market right now. I was curious to see can we improve this cooler's cooling performance even more by replacing the stock Arctic P12 ARGB fans with a set of Noctua's NF812X25 or Fantex T30. As a CPU I'm using AMD's Ryzen 7 9800X3D with the curve optimization and the rest of the specs you can find in the description of this video. During this video I'll be also showing you the sound samples of all of these three set of fans in addition with sound pressure level measurements as well. In Cinebench 2024 at 500 rpm we can see that with Arctic P12 ARGB CPU temperature is 98 degrees at the maximum. I would say this is too hot in my opinion considering that the test was not run on a hot summer day. I don't think that we have many degrees basically left before even having this CPU throttling and having some heat issues or whatsoever. With Noctua's NF812X25 the temperature is 3 degrees less which means 95 degrees. Even in this case I would say that yes it will probably work just fine but I would still aim for better temperature. But with Fantex T30 at 500 rpm this 93 degrees of temperature is actually quite acceptable considering that we are running these fans at only 500 rpm and yet the temperature is only, should I say, only 93 degrees in Cinebench 2024 which can be extremely hot test with this CPU. With 1000 rpm this is where basically the difference between the fans is kind of very narrow. With P12 ARGB we are having about 89 degrees Celsius knock to us NFA 12 X25 87 which is as we can see 2 degrees less and also with Fantex in line also 2 degrees less which means 85 degrees. At 1500 rpm obviously all the fans are quite loud at this point but nevertheless the cooling difference between these fans is only a single degree celsius which basically can be included in the margin of error. I would say regardless of ambient temperature the sweet spot for all these three fans is somewhere between 1000 and 1500 rpm. In Cyberpunk 2077 we can see that with 500 rpm P12 ARGB are cooling the CPU at 81 degrees Celsius which is okay considering that these CPUs can actually work just fine at over 80 degrees Celsius. With Noctos NFA12 X25 at 500 rpm we are getting about 77 degrees maximum and also with Fantex T30 also 77. At 1000 rpm basically all these fans are performing quite the same with P12 ARGB 73, Noctuas A12 X25 also 73 and Fantex T30 71. Also this difference of 2 degrees Celsius can be included in the margin of error. Cranking up the RPM up to 1500 we are starting to see a little bit of difference probably thanks to T30's uh, air pressure and in this case P12 ARGB are cooling the CPU at 69 degrees Celsius totally acceptable and Noctua's A12 X25 66 and Fantex T30 at 64. Regarding the noise levels measured approximately 50 cm away from the PC case which had a side panel closed at 500 rpm I would say that these fans are basically just mixed with the background noise which is also 27 decibels. At 1000 rpm as we can see the Noctuas are 1 decibel more silent compared to Fantex and Arctic fans. At 1500 rpm the Noctua NFA 12 X25 are producing actually 2 decibels less noise compared to Fantex T30 and Arctic P12. But nevertheless I would say the sweet spot for all of these 3 fans in terms of noise would be somewhere between 1000 rpm and maybe 1200 or something.
So in conclusion, I would say that we have three different winners in this test. The first winner is Arctic P12 ARGB for providing the best price performance ratio. Definitely unbeatable fans in this price category. Considering that these fans are actually bundled with this cooler as default, you will basically have to double your CPU cooler's budget in order to get these, should I say, premium fans and even then the gains will be just a couple of degrees here and there depending on the test. The second winner in this test is Noctua NF-A12X25 for providing the more pleasant sound. These Noctuas are extremely silent even at 1000 RPM or above. The third winner in this test is obviously Fantex T30 for providing the absolute best cooling performance in this radiator category. This advantage probably comes from their thickness which is 30 millimeters and that can also be an issue to some of you in case you are not having enough room for their installation. So before you decide to buy them, please make sure that you are having that extra space to be able to install them and actually I'm working on a two different videos similar to this topic one of them is actually improving this CPU's cooling performance even further even if we already have a best fans and the best CPU cooler installed and another video will be about Arctic Freezer 3 Pro version featuring Arctic P12 Pro fans which I personally haven't seen so far so hopefully you can stick around my name is Leo and I will see you in the next one bye bye